Hello, I'm Kyle Goldberg from the Headquarters ARPC FM office. In today's lesson, we are going to focus on building your initial inactive duty training schedule in UTAP's web. We will go over how to access and navigate the system. These slides have been taken directly out of the UTAP's web help file, which is located on the main toolbar once you have logged into UTAP's. Throughout this presentation, you will see the words, click the next button to proceed. That is meant for the help file presentation, and when you are doing these steps for yourself, there will be no next button. You can access UTAPS through Arrows R. Once you have logged into Arrows R, you can select UTAPS from the drop down menu. Click on the Login to UTAPS hyperlink, and then continue to the UTAPS button. Once you are on the UTAPS screen, Click on the I Accept button, and once again on the Continue to UTAPS for IMAs button. The Schedule Builder allows the IMA Reservist, or PIRR, to build and manage their individual duty calendar for the upcoming fiscal year. This is to include all the inactive duty training IDT periods they are required to work for the fiscal year, as well as any funeral honors duty periods or inactive duty training performed as points only as they occur. All IMA PIRR inactive duty training dates must be chosen and a duty location activity comment must be entered for each scheduled period before submission to the supervisors allowed. The number of IDT periods you are authorized to perform is based on the IMA PIRR reservist section code. Please note that IDT periods can be cumulative or non-cumulative but schedule periods can only be changed to cumulative after a non-cumulative schedule has been approved. Clicking the down arrow and selecting IMA PIRR as the role on the home page will display the home page for the IMA PIRRs. Once the IMA PIRR home page is displayed, clicking on the IMA PIRR schedule selection in the menu across the top of the screen will display the IMA PIRR calendar. The IMA PIRR calendar will be displayed. To view the calendar by day, week, month, quarter, or year, click on the appropriate button above for the calendar. For this lesson, the current month is selected. When the IMA PIRR calendar is displayed, double click in the yellow area of the correct date on the calendar for which you wish to schedule an IDT. The Build a IMA PIR Schedule dialog box will be displayed. Select IDT as the schedule type. The IDT date will be pre-populated. The total number of consecutive periods should be entered and the starting schedule to work period should be selected. Note, two consecutive periods will build as one full date. If working multiple days, enter the days by multiples of two. Two days would require the number of consecutive periods to be entered as four. If the days are not billed consecutively, the scheduled periods cannot be combined on the Form 40A. A location option should be selected from the list. This location selection will populate the Form 40A field. Location options are use home of record location, telecommute, search by city base, or search by zip code. If use home of record location is selected, the duty location will auto populate the Form 40A and the schedule will be created as a telecommuted schedule. If search by city base is selected, you should enter city slash base name, select a region, country, and state, and then click the search button. A city base field will be displayed with a drop down list that will allow you to select an exact location. A comment should be entered. The comment information is mandatory, and as a minimum, it should include activity that will be performed. This information will be displayed on the 40A or 40B. Please note that once the comment has been submitted, the only way to change a comment is to delete the date from the calendar and rebuild the periods in the calendar. Subsistence is defaulted to no. If subsistence is required, select yes. This subsistence information will populate the Form 40A report screen. Lodging is defaulted to no. If lodging is required, select yes. The lodging information will populate the Form 40A report screen. 
Note, off-base lodging will require non-availability documentation. Clicking the down arrow will allow you to select a validator, and then clicking the OK button will access the IMA Schedule Editor. When the Schedule Editor is displayed, IDT will be selected as the schedule type. The date you selected will be pre-populated as well as the start and end times. If any changes need to be made to any of this information, clicking on the period that needs to be modified will allow you to make modifications to the information in the field near the top of the form. If any changes are made to the schedule information, the Update Schedule button should be clicked to save these changes. Clicking on the Comment button associated with a specific period will open the IMA PIR Schedule Comment dialog box. Comments can be viewed here or edited as long as the period has not been submitted for approval. Once any changes have been made, click the button labeled Save and Close. The period will be saved to the calendar in white signifying that it has been built, but not yet submitted for approval. The period will be outlined in black to signify IDT schedule type. At this point, you should continue to add periods until you have scheduled all of your required inactive duty training periods for the upcoming FY. Once all required periods have been added to the calendar, clicking the button labeled Submit Schedules will send the calendar to your supervisor for approval. Please note that until you click the Submit Schedules button, the calendar approval request will not be sent to your supervisor. Once you have submitted the periods for approval, they will be displayed in yellow, signifying their status as pending approval. Other colors on the calendar signify green, approved, red, rejected, gray, worked, and black represents periods that have been sent to pay. Here's where you can access the help files on the main screen. Here is a list of questions you can set up so you can unlock yourself before contacting the UTAPS help desk. Lastly, here is the contact information for the UTAPS web help desk for any technical support issues you might have with the system. Now you know how to schedule your initial IDT calendar. If you have any questions, please contact your IMA detachment. Thank you.